YouTube is incredibly saturated and competitive. However, in this video, I share seven steps that you can use to get noticed here on YouTube. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, welcome. And if you want to grow a channel, well, stake your claim and amplify your message by subscribing. Click the bell notification and you won't miss a thing. Getting noticed on YouTube begins with your thumbnails and your channel art. Before watching any of your videos, a viewer sees and clicks your thumbnail. And these seven steps will allow you to get noticed, drive more clicks, and increase your views. Let's jump in. Step number one, pleasing color palettes or combinations. Fact of the matter is lots of color combinations don't work. Instead of just randomly selecting colors for your thumbnails in your channel art, do this. It's super powerful. Search Google for color combinations, design color palettes or schemes. There's a fantastic resource available on canva.com that goes over 50 beautiful color combinations, color palettes that work together to draw in interest. Now you could pay a designer hundreds, thousands of dollars, or you could just use some of these color palettes that Canva has selected already. The idea is simple. You wanna create structure for your thumbnails and your channel art. You wanna repeat the colors, the fonts, etc. For example, the first color combination that Canva shares is called Fun and Professional. And I love these color combinations. They're bold, bright, and saturated they'll help you stand out and win the click. Not feeling that color combination? No problem, we've got 49 more options to go through, like this one. Art history inspired, blue, green, yellow, and black. Again, these are bright, bold colors that will draw viewers in, perfect for thumbnails or YouTube channel art. And design number five is based on neon tones as well as contrasting colors. I talk about this so often because it works. It helps to drive clicks and views. I've got a link to that article on Canva in the description below. Check it out. But now let's jump on to step number two. Select and save the color palette that resonates with your channel, what you want to create. Don't just go through and admire these color combinations. Instead, select one, save the information so you can repeat exactly the colors, the fonts. We'll talk more about the fonts in a moment. Bottom line, select and save, and then it's on to step three. And step number three, select a primary font that you'll use again and again. Your bold should be font or fat. Your bold should be condensed, it should be easy to read, it should stand up even if it's a really small thumbnail. What's important here is that you select a font, that you select a color palette, and you use that and you repeat it again and again. Step number four, select a secondary font. When we talk about design, best practices dictates that we don't incorporate a lot of different elements or fonts. So instead of always changing up your fonts, and instead of incorporating multiple fonts in one thumbnail, the whole idea is we've got a primary and a secondary. So take the time to identify a secondary font that works with your primary font. Combine those together, and that's it. Simple. This is the one that makes all the difference. Step number five, the billboard test. Imagine you're in a car on a motorcycle traveling down the highway at 60 miles an hour. You see a billboard and you've got about a second to comprehend it, to understand what the message is. And the same thing applies here on YouTube. You've got about a second, even less, to really comprehend that your video is really exactly the thing that the viewer is looking for. And when you do that, you'll win the Let's try to simulate this whole billboard experience. And you see this billboard, and just like that, it's gone. Did you understand what the message, the billboard, was all about? Did you get that it was an advert for McDonald's and chicken nuggets? I'm guessing you did, but that experiment is a little unfair because you already know you're accustomed to McDonald's. We want to be able to create a thumbnail where the viewer has no understanding of our channel, of what we offer, and yet understands just like that. So let's try the same test again with a company that you don't already know. Oops, divorce attorneys. I bet you were able to figure it out. Why? Because the ad 
The design of the ad, the billboard, is very clear. It's very easy to understand, and yet it's clever, and it's uh, a little, it's, I don't know if it's quirky, but definitely clever. Oh, intriguing, that's the word I was thinking of. And this is how you want to design your thumbnails moving forward. You want people to be able to understand clearly at a glance exactly what your thumbnail, your video is about, and doing so will win the click. Awesome. Now here's another example of a billboard that really has great design that we can apply to a thumbnail. Notice that the sandwich is in one of the thirds. So in design, we often talk about uh, thirds. One third for a face or an object, in this case, the sandwich, and two thirds for the text. I wanna mention, notice how much space there is around the text. The text does not go to the bleeding edge of the thumbnail or billboard, and that makes it easier for the brain to comprehend and understand. Design in the same manner and you'll win. And step number six, just don't deviate. Make sure you use the same color palette again and again in your thumbnails. Make sure you use the same font, primary font, secondary font, again in your thumbnails. If you really want to go crazy, you can incorporate things like a stroke, which is the outline around the lettering, and make sure that the stroke is again always the same size. When you do that, when your thumbnails are next to each other, they'll stand out and they'll be parts of a puzzle that fit together as one. Step number seven, apply these elements to your channel art. It's really pretty easy. Take the same color palette, the same fonts, etc. Create simple and easy to understand channel art and that will pull everything together and you'll win. Here's a bonus tip. I actually did a video not too long ago on the science of drawing the eye in to win the click. If you haven't watched that video, check it out in the YouTube card right now. It's like more views through the science of visual stuff and do this if you want to grow your channel make sure to subscribe click the yellow b to the g icon below you'll subscribe i'll continue to share the strategies the tactics that have allowed me to grow and you'll feed a poodle i got two and they're hungry i'll see you next time you dig